Here's how you can make a pallet planter quickly and inexpensively. Find a pallet that's in good condition. You could use a full pallet for this, but to keep the weight manageable, we cut it down to a smaller size. Mark a line just outside the center of the pallet so that after the cut, you'll have a board running along each side. Measure the width and length of the pallet, then cut a piece of landscape fabric about four inches longer and wider. With the pallet top side down, staple the fabric to the inside face of the top of the pallet. Use plenty of staples and be sure to staple the sides as well as the inside face. Pallet wood can be very hard, so tap the staples in with a hammer if needed. Repeat this for the bottom side of the pallet, but this time, staple the fabric to the outer face. Leave an extra four to five inches to fold over each end, but at this time, only staple one end shut, leave the other open. Tip the planter so the open end is up and begin filling with potting mix. After every six or so inches, take a broom handle and gently tamp it firm to prevent settling later. Keep adding soil and tamping until the planter is full. Now you can staple the end shut. Lay the planter flat and cut an X pattern with a razor blade in the spots you want to plant. With your fingers, hollow out a planting space. Remove a little soil if necessary. Then insert the root ball into the hole. This step is easier if you start with small plants. Pallet planters are heavy, so if you mount one on a wall, be sure you have a solid structure to fasten it to. A good way to support the weight is with a mounting strip like this. Make sure the screws are driven into wall studs. With another person helping you, lift the planter and set it on the mounting strip. Then drive a screw through each top corner and into the wall to secure the planter. Once the pallet is planted, all you have to do is water and fertilize as you would with any container. When it grows in, you'll have a beautiful hanging garden like this.